Doc. We picked him up out on the road. He, he was screaming about this thing on his hand. He was all gone, you know. He just disappeared Steve, just a second. what are you talking about? Well, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a mass that keeps getting bigger and bigger. It, Come on, Steve, make sense. You know, plenty of people in their right mind thought they saw things that didn't exist, you know, like flying saucers. The light was just right and the angle and the imagination. CO2. Hey, that's it. It's cold. Well, I want to thank you for getting us out of there, you know. For a while, I didn't think we were going to make it. That makes two of us. What blazes you're driving at now? The moon. Okay. I'll listen. Tell me. I did tell you. The next rocket we build is going to the moon. The race is on, and we'd better win it. no law against taking off a spaceship. It's never been done, so they haven't gotten around to prohibiting it. Six, five, four, three, two, fire. Gosh, ain't that so...
when men have built a station in space constructed in the form of a great wheel. We got a sick man here! Gotta get him back to the wheel! Holding 20,000 miles per hour, sir. Asteroid, dead astern. The ship is upright, sir. We've done what no men in the world have done before us. We've got to let them know before it's too late. Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Your case, maybe I'll leave you up there for good. Over. You got me that time, Mac. This American flight 812 requested. <laughs> flying saucer. Saucer? You mean the kind from up there? Yeah, well, it's counterpart. were quickly set up. Colonel Tom Edwards, in charge of saucer field activities, was to make the greatest decision of his career. He made that decision. Colonel Edwards gave the signal to fire. I wonder what their next move will be. What progress has been made? We contacted government officials. They refuse our existence. What plan will you follow now? Plan nine. It's been absolutely impossible to work through these Earth creatures. Their soul is too controlled. Arose the moving figure of the dead old man. Turn off the electrodes quickly. They can't tell us from anyone else. This is Eros a space soldier from a planet of your galaxy. Since the beginning of your time, we have been far beyond your planet. It has taken you centuries to even grasp what we developed eons of your years ago. We then have no alternative but to destroy you before you destroy us. <laughs> 